This is Pierre Luna Tarot 808 with the start of the year astrological reading for Taurus for 2022. We start here with Sir Nunus, <clears throat> which is also the devil. It's a pretty, this is a beautiful, beautifully drawn uh, tarot deck. Uh, and this comes along with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, for me, these two energies, Sir Nunus or the devil, can be feeling like you're stuck or uh, feeling like you're uh, looping or like you're not progressing, you're stuck on something, or maybe as well this could be our vices or feeling discontent and feeling um, that discontent or with uh, any sort of vice, whatever your, your choice of vice is. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I also feel uh, it, there's as well as uh, with Aries an energy of how we're employing our life energy and uh, maybe being philosophical or thinking how uh, we're maybe might be looping or might we might be stuck on our workplace or how can we employ our talents in a way that is um, more fulfilling and it doesn't feel like a like a, a hamster race uh, with the two of cups and Taurus is uh, ruled by Venus. Uh, so there's this is a very Venus card. It's not only about romance, although I'm getting uh, like a strong energy for Taurus and for sun, moon, and rising, and as well Taurus in our lives and what uh, uh, the physical world means and our assets and our home life and, and our money and, and our currencies as well. With the Two of Cups and the Prince of Pentacles, I feel that uh, we are considering how we make our coin and how we could be doing it in a more balanced way because the two of cups is about balance it's about um, passion as well but it's about a balance of things that it feels right how do we make our coin that is in accordance with our family life in accordance with our pleasures as well two of cups is also calling for pleasure uh, in, 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 of course, in the marriage card or in being with someone and the ultimate pleasure of, of um, a great uh, lover or, or a great uh, partner. And I feel we're meditating on that. How can we be making our life, how can we associate or, or uh, compromise our life in things that are going to bring us a future that is that we can build on it is not something that we're just spending our salary each month and and we're not really growing um also with the the lord which will be the emperor along with the high priest which will be the hierophant this is like uh, the old way to do things or structures or uh, maybe this is you maybe you've come to this point in your life where you're already the emperor where you're already mature uh where you're already a short collar and you already have this knowledge about whatever you do, whatever your trade is. And now you're feeling like, okay, I've mastered some things and I'm a great master of this. And now I feel like I could take a chance with the Eight of Wands, with communication, uh, to something where um, I feel more romantic about or something that is not as uh, practical because maybe you've been having a very practical approach. Maybe you want something with more um, whimsical, mystery, uh, some more fantasy. And this could mean as well that uh, some people that are already in the emperor place, maybe males, are looking for, okay, I'm already set up. Maybe uh, it's already time for me to look uh, for a romantic partner. So it could be that or it could be uh, moving your way of making money in a way that feels more fulfilling to your heart that feels that there's more um altruism even uh to uh, what you're doing and that you want to put out like communicate out there or, or get the ball rolling on how to make this movement uh come to life so we could see like maybe some philanthropists wanting to with a lot like uh uh, game changers wanting to uh, bring something for humanity to communicate that they also want to add great things and they they also have uh, a heart and a soul uh, so we could feel be feeling like that message from the game changers and all the people with lots of money uh, in the following uh, month uh, February or or in the end of this month and for the end of the energy for Taurus, I also feel again with Romance, Ace of Cups, which is the Holy Grail of Love, which is a beautiful, beautiful card, along with the Queen of Wands, 
uh, which she is like the uh, manifester. And of course, she's fire, she's passion. And um, here with the Six of Cups and then the King of Swords, this could go um, different ways for some people. It could be that you are this King of Swords who um, who are at, this, at that point, as I said, in your life where you're being the Emperor or the Empress and you're already thinking, okay, I got already have my uh, stability. I have mastered a lot of things. I am a master of my own self and as best as I can. And now maybe it's time for me to look uh, for uh, who I want to share all this knowledge, this experience, or your, I don't know, your assets. And you're looking for that Holy Grail. And uh, you might be looking at it because this is a Venus season and uh, we've been reviewing our past and some of the planets have been in retrograde. There could be like uh, looking back at someone that you had some passion for and now you feel, okay, now I feel like I can actually be a suitor for this woman which I felt was uh, like out of my league or was too passionate for me. Or maybe this could be, uh, doesn't have to be a romantic or a relationship. This could also, could be like a project, uh, something that you thought was very ambitious and uh, like the holy grail of your work. And it was like a, something impossible to realize. And you find that, or you start meditating, that it's actually a dream of yours, even if, if it seems like an impossible. And uh, you're looking back at it and, and, and meditating. How can I achieve this? How can I manifest this holy grail in my life? And it could also be uh, the holy grail of having a balanced life where you, where you have the money and you also have time to spend it with your family and you also have time to have passion with your wife while you're also being a great strategist or uh, time with your companion, whatever it is, if you're male or female. And the Tao Oracle card that I got is gradual development, gradual progress, continuity, slowly but surely, adaptability, and a time honor approach. This is very Taurus energy because uh, Taurus is an earth sign and they are very aware that in order to build things, it takes time, it pa takes patience, it takes discipline. So it could be that you're already mastered, you're already in this place where you master your discipline, you have your patience, you've gradually grown uh, in, in your career or in your own self, and you're ready uh, for something new, or you're looking on how do you, and if you're not there, you're looking how to develop something that would have um, a future, that would be long-lasting, and that would marry uh, your your uh, want for stability, but also you want to enjoy life and for life to be pleasure, pleasurable, pleasurable. <laughs> All right.